Okay, Linus here. I'm going to give a what's hopefully a quick explanation of why our heater points up. A um, couple reasons right away are because it's how that we can get away with using a wooden box. We don't want to use um, plastic. There's no thermal plastic that we want to get as hot as it needs to. Um, you're going to be inhaling the smell of plastic and wood, especially when it comes from Europe where they have low VOC wood, um, is the safest substance we've found for inhalation. Um, every part of our vaporizer has been sucked through a, a, uh, into a vacuum cylinder and sent to industrial lab. Um, we simulate what it's like to take a hit from our vaporizer constantly 24 seven for years. And we make sure that what you're inhaling is less, well less than any standards that the government sets and also less than what you're just going to get in your normal household or kitchen. Um, if I show you, uh, uh, where the air flows through the unit, that really shows why it points up. The air flows out the front it, and it comes in the bottom and it goes up through there and it comes up through a very large uh, hole here. I can show you on this unit that we dropped a long time ago that I just kind of stitched together to show you. Of most of the air we've tested, it comes through here and out the front. Some people notice that it goes by an LED board. What we did in that case is we turned everything to silver solder. There's no lead whatsoever in the unit. And um, we also designed it so that no one he, uh, element gets very hot. Um, if you look at like, you know, Chinese product or whatever, they just design it and one element on there could be totally hot and that's the source of a lot of the smell. When you smell electronics, when you just sniff something um, that's working, uh, components getting hot is one of the reasons. So anyway, we keep everything very cool and we use um, only European standard um, components, which means no lead, cadmium, or other toxic materials allowed. We've also tested the air that comes out of here to make sure that it's clean, of course, as I said before. If we were to not aim the element up, let's say this way was up, this piece gets way too hot. If we even aim the element down, which is what a lot of customers have asked for in the past, um, the wood box wouldn't be possible. We would need a fan to cool all this. Um, other vaporizers since us had um, figured out how to aim the heating element down, but they did compromises we didn't quite want to do, one of which is that the heating element's more exposed and not so um, ready for every household. This thing's meant to sink into your kitchen and, and not you know create any problem. When we came out with this, no one was vaporizing, no one knew what vaporizing was, and very few people um, used herbs, and so it had to be kind of discreet looking. Um, the other reason why we don't aim it up is because we think that the action of doing this will knock it over. It doesn't knock over the vaporizer totally. We just like how pushing down on it actually pushes the vaporizer into the desk and makes it not slide so bad. And I can show you, like, here's our bottom plate. Um, if your center of gravity is between the feet, the more you push, the more it's staying in place. If your center of gravity goes outside the feet, suddenly it topples. In the same way, if you're pushing on it, making kind of a simulated center of gravity going outside of this foot, for example, this is a cross section of the vaporizer. If I push really hard in this direction through here, this point is very far outside of this foot right here, and it's going to cause a uh, rotating to the vaporizer. Luckily, there's some um, friction, so the vaporizer isn't totally bad, but um, it stays in place most of the time. I can show you on a vaporizer. Um, that when you push in straight, it it will kind of slide if you really push. If you push down on it, you know, it's fine. It causes you to need to uh, load this carefully and tamp it down per our instructions. The herbs won't totally fall out every time when you do this, but it is one of the things that you have to be aware of when using the VaporBuzz vaporizer. Um, I think if I really push on it, I could, like, try to get it to tilt over, but I'm, of course, not not breaking the glass and no nothing's gonna happen, you know, unless I do this. Um, that wasn't that, but anyway, so that's the explanation. 
and um, um, feel free to reply to this video, leave comments, or ask us on our Facebook. I'm Linus Larson on Facebook, uh, or at Vapor Brothers on Instagram or Facebook. And this vaporizer is for sale, by the way. We're just taking pictures of it. It's absolutely gorgeous. It's Michael Garfield, and um, you can get it on the site soon. All right, have a good day. Bye.